Hey Mountain Family, how's it going? So today I'm doing the 50 random facts about me. Been wanting to do this for a while. I'm gonna try to make this short and sweet, but I'm a talker, so I'm gonna just do my best. So fact number one, I am terrified of spiders, snakes, creepy crawlies, insects. <laughs> number two, I am afraid of the dark in kind of a wimpy way. When I turn out all the lights downstairs to go upstairs for bed, I run up the stairs. Legit. Run, I book it. Number three is I can't stand scary movies. The Halloween movies, the like original, like Texas Chainsaw, never seen it. Don't want to see it, not interested. Number four is I went through a goth phase. I'm really sorry that I can't show you guys like pictures. I wish I could, but like all of my ch pictures from my childhood are at my dad's and we all know I'm disowned so I can't ever get those. So I don't have any pictures to show you guys, but I did go through like a goth phase. I I loved the trip pants. I wanted to buy everything from Hot Topic. I wore black lipstick. Yeah. I just went through like, you know, a goth phase. Number five, I have always been into theater and musicals. And my two favorite musicals are Rent and The Phantom of the Opera. A friend of mine wants to take me to see Phantom of the Opera like in person in like February or March and I want to so bad. Number six, I am definitely a cat person. If you would have asked me when I was a teenager. If I was a cat or dog person, I would have told you dog. But I'm now an adult and I've experienced taking care of both a cat and a dog by myself and I just like cats more. Number seven, I have a learning disability. I was tested as a kid. I was given an IQ test. My math was in the whatever normal is, I am one notch below. I don't know what it's called. I can't remember the official term. But yeah, I'm one notch below like normal. But because of that, I have a learning disability and math is just really hard for me. Number eight, when I was a kid, I was a big daddy's girl. Don't know why, and my God, if I would have known then what I know now, <laughs> I wouldn't have been. But I just really had a special, you know, bond with my dad uh, before the age of 10, and that's why I chose to move in with my dad. Number nine, I don't have a favorite genre of music. I like pop, I like R&B, I like rap, I like country, I like punk, I like it all, except like the niche stuff, like reggae or classical or stuff that is specific to a specific group of people but besides that i like pretty much everything number 10 i was born with a hole in my ear right here uh, i've tried to stick like a earring through it and whoo it's the weirdest Feeling. Number 11, I used to live in Iowa and Illinois and I lived there from first grade until fourth when I moved in with my dad when I was 10. Number 12, I can't stand mayonnaise. I think I've said number 13 before, but I can't remember if I've said this before or not, so I'm just going to repeat it, so I'm sorry if this is a repeat, but my least favorite holiday is Halloween. Number 14, when I was in high school, I loved reading and watching anime. I wasn't like big, big into it, like I was reading watching everything, but I did like it. I liked Nana. I liked um, Full Metal Alchemist. I watched Dragon Ball Z there for a little while. I think I can't remember what else, but um, yeah. I watched and read anime a lot. Number 15, I love camping. I've been camping since, oh God, I was a kid. My dad has had a camper for as long as I can remember. We started out with pop-ups where you had to crank it. My dad got tired of cranking it, so we got another camper and then another one. And the one he has now, I think he's had for a while. But we've been camping as long as I can remember, really, just all the time. Number 16, when I was a kid, I honestly, believed this is so embarrassing but I honestly believed that my stepdad and my stepmom were married <laughs> elementary school this is like second to fourth grade I really believed this because my parents used to be married I thought my step parents used to be married <laughs> 
<laughs> it's so embarrassing. Oh, the stuff you believe as a kid. Number 17, I was bullied in high school. Uh, my stepmom made me break up with a boyfriend because she just didn't like him, so she handed me the phone. She watched me dial the number. She watched me break up with him, and he got really bitter. He got really revengeful, and he just dragged my name through the mud, started making up stuff that didn't even happen, and yeah, I was very much an outcast and very bullied. I almost got in a fight. This girl came charging at me with her fist up, and I thought she was going to hit me. Somebody held her back, and that was the end of that, but yeah, my high school years are miserable because I was bullied a lot. Number 18, I lost my virginity when I was 16, almost 17. It was February, so I was almost 17. Number 19, I've had my nose cauterized twice, once when I was like 10, something like that, and again when I was like 11, no, 12, 13. I used to get really bad nosebleeds, like pouring blood, nosebleeds out of like nowhere. So yeah, I had it cauterized twice, and I've never had really a nosebleed since. I've had some spotting, just a little bit, but nothing like bad. Number 20, I can't stand spicy food. I can't handle it. I can do like jalapenos a little bit, but I can't do like super, super spicy, which is funny because I did the spicy noodle challenge, and I was like, I'm gonna do this, and oh no, oh my god, it was so bad. I can't handle it. Number 21, I hate Chinese food. I don't remember a whole lot from Grace's pregnancy because I was so depressed, but I do remember that I had an aversion to Chinese food, and it just stuck with me. I just don't like it. Number 22, my favorite social media, it's kind of tied between Snapchat and Twitter. I like them both. Number 24, I love pimple popping videos. I am subscribed to Dr. Sandra Lee. I don't watch them all the time, every video, but I do get in like kicks where I'll watch a bunch of them every now and then. Don't know why I find them fascinating, but I do. It's like, oh my gosh, that was inside you? It was just, I don't know, I find them really cool. Number 25, I have always wanted to adopt. I saw this video when I was 16 of this Chinese orphanage and these babies, there's just so many of them and so little staffed that these babies were like having heads that were like flat and it just broke my heart and you know when I was a teenager I was like I'm gonna adopt from China but as I got older I realized that we have a lot of kids here in America who need adopted and I've always wanted to do it I'm trying to get Devin on board but he wants to have you know our own children and I'm really hoping that once you know we're done having our own children that we can at least adopt once because I would really, really like to. Number 26, my two favorite YouTubers I watch every single video are Jess Fam and Brittany and Baby. I just feel like they're very relatable and we have a lot in common and I just really like their channels. Number 27, when I was a kid we owned a lot of guinea pigs. Let's see, we had four and then two mated and they had two guinea pigs and then they mated again and then we had four more. So at one time we had like 10 guinea pigs and now I just don't want rodents in my house at all. I don't want guinea pigs. I don't want hamsters. I don't want mice. I don't want anything because they're just smelly and they're very you know, dirty, and I just don't want any. But as a kid, we owned a ton. Number 28, I can't stand being cold. I think I've said this before, but I can't stand being cold. Even in the dead of summer, I have to have a heated blanket, at least turned on a little bit, because Devin freezes me, but I can't take being cold. My favorite genre of music from my childhood is like punk bands, like My Chemical Romance, Bullet for My Valentine, those kind of bands. Number 30, my my favorite candy is Hershey's Cookies and Cream. Number 31, my best friend is Summer Smoot. We've been best friends since fifth grade, so our relationship is now like a 16 year old. <laughs> and we still talk, not as much as I would like to, but we still do talk and I would love to see her. If you guys think I sound country, <laughs> you ain't heard nothing yet. You really haven't. She's really country. It's such a thick accent. But I really wish I could see her again. Number 32, my favorite subject was English in school. Uh, it just comes naturally to me. It's very easy to me. I still like it to this day. Number 33, when I was a kid, I keep saying that, when I was a kid, I took violin lessons and I took piano lessons. I quit both because I just didn't feel I was good at them. 
You see like a trend with me, this whole not feeling good enough, bull crap. This is why I want to quit the cycle. I'm tired of it. But yeah, I tried to do both and totally failed. <laughs> Number 34, my favorite pop is Dr. Pepper. And my second favorite is Coke. Number 35, I didn't have any social media of any type until I was 18. My dad was adamant about it. Like Facebook, MySpace, I didn't have any of it until I was 18. I don't know why. I can't remember the reason. Reason. My dad just had this big paranoia. Number 36, the only concerts I've ever been to, it's called Winter Jam. It's a Christian concert. That's it. I've never seen anybody else, but I would love to. I would love to go to another concert. Number 37, my name was originally going to be Bretta. That's what my dad wanted to name me. And my mom said, no, we are not naming her Bretta. So then they settled on my actual name, Kristen. Number 38, I have never ever in my life tried any type of drug. Number 39, I hate being late. I'm late all the time to everything because my husband is late to everything. It drives me nuts. So I hate it because uh, my parents were late to everything growing up. And I promised myself when I get to be an adult. I'm never going to be late. I'm going to be on time. <laughs> and here I am late to everything. Number 40, I have a very big phobia of getting into a car wreck. I just can't imagine having a broken body and just laying there in agony until finally the paramedics show up, break into your car, drag you out, take you to the hospital. Oh my god, it just sounds so awful and I'm so scared of it. So I'm a very defensive driver. Like I am very scared. Can't help it. I just can't imagine it. Number 41, one of my favorite smells is the smell of wood smoke. You know, when you make like a bonfire, oh, I love that smell. I love sitting around a campfire and just smelling that smell because it takes me back to my childhood when we would roast marshmallows and we were all together and we were actually getting along for once and everything was good. I just really love that smell. Number 42, I have never been a sports person. I have I've tried soccer, I have tried softball, I've tried dance, I've tried different sports, but I've never stuck with it. And even to this day, I'm not a big baseball, football, you know, hockey. I'm just not a fan of sports. Number 43, I have never been hunting and I have never shot a gun in my life. And I live in West Virginia. This is a very red state. And I've never done either of those things in my life. Number 44, my celebrity crush is Ed Sheeran, which is really, really funny because I have never been attracted to fellow redheads in my life. I went to school with a few redheads and I was just never attracted to them. But for some reason, I like Ed Sheeran. Number 45, I am a teeny tiny bit OCD. I just can't stand for cupboards, doors, refrigerator, whatever type of door. I don't like for it to be in that in-between space. I like for it to be either all the way closed or all the way open. That in-between space just irks me. I don't know what that is, but it does, and every time it happens, I have to close the door. And Devin is very notorious for keeping all of the doors that he opens open, and it just irks me, <laughs> and I just have to close it. Number 46, when I was a kid, I only wanted three kids. I thought that was just the perfect number, that's as many as I wanted, and now here I am planning mine and Devin's fourth, and it'll technically speaking be my fifth pregnancy. <laughs> Never thought I'd be here, but here I am. Number 47, I have never been on a plane in my life. My sister Chandler is terrified of them, so we've driven everywhere. I would like to, I just haven't yet. Number 48, I have never broken a bone. Ever. I'm very thankful for that because I've been told and I've heard that it hurts. So very thankful I've never broken a bone. Number 49, if I had the money and I was given the option, I would totally get plastic surgery to fix my mom body. Absolutely. I don't want anything inserted. I just want it fixed. I just want my boobs lifted and put back where they belong. I want my mom belly fixed and I just want a butt lift because having kids, it's kind of fallen a little bit and I just want it put back where it belongs. I would totally do it in a heartbeat. And number 50, my dream car is a Porsche 911 Turbo yellow with black racing stripes. 
I just really like this car. I've seen other cars and I like those too, but this one is my favorite. Thank you guys for watching the 50 random facts about me and learning a little bit more about me. If you want to follow me on social media, there are links down below as well as the link to my other channel. And I'll see you guys later in a new vlog. Bye guys. You know my love.